was an Amber Alert not issued when Dylan disappeared? So an Amber Alert is only reserved for uh, when there's a confirmed uh, criminality. There's a very strict criteria that's used in issuing an Amber Alert. So this case didn't rise to that. You're saying that there has to be proof of criminality before an Amber Alert? There has to be evidence of criminality yeah, or an abduction or something of that nature. Amber Alerts are used for only a very small percentage of cases and they're reserved for very specific cases. And so what's called a non-intrusive public alert was sent out by the province's EMO, the Emergency Management Office. But not until 4.32 p.m. Dylan was reported missing to police at 1.24. Why would there be a delay of more than three hours before the public is alerted that a three-year-old boy is missing? Well, the public was alerted. They just, the, the unintrusive alert took some time to get out through EMO, and that's outside of our control. That's with EMO. But the EMO couldn't send out its alert until directed to do so by police. The EMO tells W5 they received the approved message from Truro Police about the missing child at 4.13 p.m. 19 minutes later, at 4.32, the alert went out. That means it took police two hours and 49 minutes to relay information to the emergency office that a three-year-old was missing. You feel confident that the public was alerted quickly enough yeah, that absolutely. this boy had disappeared? Absolutely. Local radio, our local Facebook pages, uh, Town of Truro website, Town of Truro Facebook page, Police Service Facebook page. It's a small community, so those, those networks are actually more effective locally than, uh, than, uh, than another type of alert. So those were done uh, very shortly after we established that the young fellow was missing. So a, a, a press release was sent out to all those agencies saying that... I'm not, I don't think a press release formal uh, was out, but definitely messaging on a phone call to radio and, and uh, social media pages for sure. In fact, there is no record of any alerts or advisories on the Truro Police or Town Facebook pages on May 6, 2020, the day Dylan disappeared. The Town Twitter account did tweet out Dylan's disappearance within an hour. There were questions online about why a public alert wasn't being issued. Clearly, like, time is of the essence.